Our next guest, uh, created and star, is on the very funny British comedy series The Office. Its second season premieres October 12th on the BBC America Cable Network. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Ricky Gervais. Thank you so much for being on the program. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah, you enjoying your time in New York? Do you get over here often? Uh, no, but I'm, I really love it. I love New York. And uh, strange place. Really? In, in what sense? Well, I only got here yesterday, and the two big sort of news stories on the TV and in the papers on the radio were two separate incidents, mm. unrelated, um, people whose pet tigers had mauled them. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> one that's Seafried and Roy one, and then one here is uh, Tiger yeah. bit him. See, in England, we don't keep tigers as pets. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> Uh -huh. No, really. I mean, yeah. we, we, keep, we keep cats, but they're much smaller. They're, <laughs> they're, you know, the they're, domestic, yeah, yeah, yeah sure, the tigers. Yeah. There are these that domesticate. Yeah. See, the clue, domestic cats. <laughs> Tiger, ah, right. uh -huh. domestic yeah. cat, mm, <laughs> yeah. fine. That's all. You know. Yeah. So it, it, it's, it's the damage. See, a tiger's so big, it can do so much damage. Right. Whereas a domestic cat, but you go, is that, will I lose the Nothing arm? The doctor really. goes, forget it. Yeah. Tiger, that's gone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, the thing is with the, the domestic cat uh -huh. um, is that it sort of treats you as, like, a mum or a dad. Mm -hmm. The tiger treats you more as lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's right. So You have to always be on your guard. That's my advice as yeah. an outsider. All right, well, so, thank you very much. But sometimes it takes the viewpoint of an outsider... ..to know where it, you're going wrong. Exactly I mean, right. Apart from that, I yeah. think it's brilliant, but the <laughs> pet thing is mad. <laughs> It's really mad. Now, uh, do me a favor, tell us a little bit about your, your, your background and uh, what, what you've done with yourself heretofore and, uh, and how you came up with the idea for the character and the show and so forth. Wow. Um, uh, my background, uh, I suppose I just had a normal sort of working class upbringing mm -hmm. in, a, in a town just outside London. My dad was a labourer, my mum was a, uh, a housewife, and uh, I got what you'd call a scholarship to go to university, oh, so sort of... Uh, yeah, and it, it's funny, actually, because um, I, I went to university to do uh, biology, mm. uh, and uh, I changed after a couple of weeks because there were nine o'clock lectures. Yeah. And <laughs> so I did philosophy seven hours a week. Uh -huh. So, uh, and my mum was very proud, though, that I got to university. And uh, when I was there in my third year, I actually got into music, and um, I got a record deal oh, and a publishing contract as a yeah. singer-songwriter. And I went home one day, and I broke it to my mum that I wasn't going to follow the academic route. And she was, she was disappointed, and uh, she said, why? I said, because I want to be a pop star. Mm. She said, pop star is another word for junkie. <laughs> <laughs> and, I said, the, 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 she was so, and I actually said, well, it's a really good deal. The, the, the record deal's worth about £100,000. And she didn't drop a beat. She said, Mick Jagger bought his mum a house in Wales. <laughs> <laughs> it's for mom. Yeah. It's... And... And, and then did, did, did the music part of it work out for you? Of course not. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was over as uh, quickly as it began. Right. Um, so uh, then uh, I got a normal job. Mm -hmm. Failed musician, got a normal job. And that's, I mean, that's where the office comes from. Right. I was actually a... Um, I worked my way up. I, I, th I think I started off as a receptionist, then I got an assistant manager's job, and I did some training, and I became a, a middle manager. And I was a middle manager in an office for seven years, which is, which is the office, you know. And, and that's, is like, like you say, that's how you develop that uh, persona, Absolutely, that a absolutely. I mean, and then even the office was based on Your the old office. Yeah, we even built it to look a bit like it. And, um, and, yeah. and, and tell, tell people who maybe have not seen the show about your character. How do you describe him? I described him, you heard how I described him. But that, that, yeah, that, I mean, he is a buffoon. Some people, um, when it went out in England, were saying he's the boss from hell. And I don't think he's that bad. I think he's just a bit of a saddo. You know, he wants to be loved, like we all do, and he's a bit of a life and soul of the party. And um, he's, just, he's just confused sort of popularity with respect. Mm -hmm. And he's just, he's free-falling and he's sort of clutching at straws. And, you know, and he thinks he's going to get a game show out of it because there was a spate of these... <laughs> reality games and he just thinks he's you know he's the office clown and he wants to he wants to get on tv you know, uh, the, like uh, us yeah like <laughs> the interesting the, the thing that you notice early on about watching the show is there's absolutely no work being done in the office there is no productive activity no. in the office whatsoever and that's just fine with everyone well i remember learning when i did uh, the thing that's the thing about um uh, brits because uh we, we try and avoid work. You know, see, in America... <laughs> no, no, you're, you're told that you can become the President of the United States, and we're told you don't want to do that. Right. <laughs> 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 it's sort of like, you know... 
I, I remember, I remember, I spent all my time trying to avoid work. It's so much harder. Mm -hmm. Now I really work hard. Now I want to <laughs> get it done because, you know, yeah. I'm doing something that I enjoy. But then I, I remember working out that if you walked around with a couple of bits of paper, you could be either on the way to the photocopier or the way back. Yeah. <laughs> but I walked about nine miles a day. It's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Let me, let me talk about the, uh, you, you did the tw uh, six the first season, you're, you're going to do six uh, you've already produced for the second season. Yeah. And then that's more or less it, is that yeah, right? Yeah. I think that's a, a fantastic idea because each one of them are, are so good and, and I think if you were to do right. you know, year after year after year, maybe the product would So you think suffer. it's integrity, it's laziness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I had to have a lie down after six. So yeah, well, twelve, I really, really struggled. I'm actually they, the people want me to do sort of more live dates, but the term stand up scares me. Right. You know, it's nice that I'm sort of lounging. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so uh, no, uh, twelve's enough. Now, will there be an American version of this show? Uh, uh, yeah, we hope so. Yeah, that's that is happening. And and you, you will be involved in that. You will not appear on that. No, show, no, I, I, yeah. Um, uh, I suppose they give me some sort of executive producer credit. Right. What does that mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, are you worried that the, the American version will be as good as your version? Um, I want it to be as good. It'll be different, uh, you know. Uh, it's not my baby. It's not like, you know, the, right. the, the, the office. I'm glad it's out in America, the, you know, the English one, because, you know, I did that and it's exactly how we wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. The American one will be good but different. It has to be different and that's not just a case of changing tap to force it and things like that. You know, I'm sure that, it, that I want there to be relevant observations. I want the people of America to say the same things about this as Brit said about mm -hmm. ours, like, I know a man like David Brent or that's like my office. And I imagine it's it But it's different. going to be difficult to cast somebody as good in that role as you are in the role. <laughs> You know? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, um, I, I, I think the problem will be casting someone as attractive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they've said, they've said Brad Pitt. I said he's forty. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> Johnny Depp, mm, I don't, you know. Someone said, a journalist asked me, um, they said, what do you think the main difference will be between the uh, English and the American version? And I said, better teeth. <laughs> well, perhaps. And, um, and, and, and are you surprised at the, the great reaction to the show in this country? Uh, yeah, well, I, I, I hasn't sunk in, I don't really know. I've got a few sort of reports here and there, yeah. but... Um, you know, it's, it's what's, what, what people have sent me and stuff, but I, uh, I don't know. I don't know how big it is. It, it's, it's a huge success in Great Britain, of course, isn't it? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. And how, how yeah is... Great Britain's only that big, though, isn't it? <laughs> if you I... came there, you could own it. <laughs> <laughs> you, how... could, you could be the mayor of Great Britain within a week. <laughs> the, the mayor? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and how did that change your life? All of a sudden, you, you go from a guy nobody knows to a guy everybody knows and everybody... Um, yeah, well, it, it was strange people... Because I came from nowhere, because I'd done a normal job, so I suppose the first... The, the strangest thing was the journalists the first time round asking me sort of questions, and I, I sort of... I did everything because I was flattered and not, I didn't want to sort of appear aloof, and some of them were just banal questions. What kind you know? of stuff? Well, there was, there was one I did... Um, and it was like those fluff pieces, and they asked you, it was like, my London and what you like. And, um, and it was stuff like... Uh, I remember one journalist said, um, uh, if your house was on fire and you could only say three things, what would they be? And this was towards the end of the evening, I was just, it was just so... And I went, um, my cat, I've got a cat. Uh, I said, my salamander, mm. I've got a pet salamander, I was thinking to her. And I went, three? She went, yeah, I said, uh, one of the twins. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, she, she said, OK. And then, <laughs> and then a couple of months later, I had an interview with an another journalist, and she said, what are your twins' names? Uh. And I said, why did that say what you said? I said, what, you think that I'd save a cat, a salamander, and then one of the twins? <laughs> so you've got to be so careful. I learned that you've got, you know, they, they just take your word for it. The, uh, the, the, the second season here in the United States premieres October 12th on uh, BBC America, and, and uh, it is all available on DVD. The first season is available on DVD, I believe, now in this Yeah, country. I think that's out today. Uh, so if you've not seen any of them, you can, you can catch up and watch them and watch them in any order. It really doesn't make any difference. They're all just great and standalone and it's a very entertaining pieces of work. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. Good luck to you Thank and you. I hope you come back.